Hello guys, today Rare brings us the new DLC, The Heart of Fire, which presents us with three new features, Blunderbombs, The Chain Shot, and the new Stall Tale, which is the DLC named after The Heart of Fire. Alongside that, we have our newest voyage, Athena's Run. Sea of Thieves is beautiful because of its exciting adventures and surprises, so as usual, this video will not contain any spoilers, but will be a highlight of what's new, so you can start your adventure prepared and enjoy the excitement without having to dig through patch notes. I will show you how to unlock the Ashen Curse and the Ashen Dragon Hull. I will also throw a few tips and tricks to tune up your journey. I want to point out that I have recently become an official partner in the Rare Creator Crew program, all thanks to you. On this channel, I do honest gaming guides and gameplays of everything Sea of Thieves. If this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. Let's start with the commendations. We have three sets of new commendations, under the Heart of Fire Tall Tale tab, under the Mercenary Voyages and the Athena Reputation tab. Heart of Fire is the new tall tale that covers a fiery adventure in the hearts of Devil's Roar. You can vote for the voyage by the tavern lady, Talula, in Moore's Peak. After that, your journey begins. When we look at the commendations, you can see that we have 11, but the things you have to do are only 6. As your journey begins, you will come across unlocking the Liar's Hideout, which is the first commendation, so that you can obtain the key to the Heart of Fire. Once you get there, you will find 3 paths to take. Each one gets you to complete the Tall Tale and unlocks the Fire Rises commendation. The commendation will open, depending on the route taken. Once you finish it the first time, you will get the fantastic Ashen Dragon Hull. And to get the Ashen Curse, which is a fiery curse on your character, you will need to complete each route once and find all Stitcher Jim's journals. So in highlight, finish each path once and mark the 5 journals to complete all commendations in this category. Mercenary Voyages As mentioned earlier, we have our new voyage, Athena's Run. It is required to be completed 5 times to unlock Ruling with Legends at Thieves Haven. It is a voyage similar to Reaper's Run and is 5 chapters. Chapters 1, 3 and 5 are X marks the spot in Thieves Haven. First is 3 locations, third is 6 locations and last is 9 locations. In between, chapters 2 and 4 will have riddles in neighboring islands. To get this done efficiently, I suggest someone staying at Thieves Haven to continually dig out the legendary items and store them in one place while the ship travels between other islands of chapters 2 and 5 to solve the riddles. If you want to complete more than one voyage, it is preferred to have a brigantine, as two will stay on the ship to vote on another Athena's run while you regularly dig out chests. Two out of three of the brigantine crew is required to activate the voyage, so you don't have to be there to vote. Moving on to the Athena's Fortune tab, we have 6 new commendations that rely on the newly introduced items in Athena's run. Chalice of Ancient Fortune, Gilded Relics, Skulls, Villainous Skulls of Ancient Fortune, Crates of Legendary Voyages, and Kegs of Ancient Black Powder. You will have to sell several of each to the mysterious stranger at any tavern to unlock these commendations. They will also add to your Athena reputation. Blunderbomb a game changer, and possibly something I predicted one year ago in my Boarding Axe and Granados video. It's an item similar to the Firebomb, but causes a blast to players in a certain radius. It can be used to dodge players from ladder camping, raising anchor, and so on. It will be more powerful if launched from a cannon. It will rock a ship and possibly change its direction. Keep in mind, it will not cause any damage to the hull. The Blunderbob is a dangerous item to play with, as you can also hurt yourself with it. Based on your quests, I will be releasing a detailed guide with advanced tips and tricks regarding the Blunderbob, how to use it in naval battles, PvE, and PvP. The Chain Shot Unlike the Blunderbomb, this can only be launched from cannons. It has a much more substantial feel to it than a cannonball, so you will have to aim much higher than usual to hit your target. It is created to drop masts in one hit, and also damage the capstan and the helm. If this is used accordingly with a blunderbomb, by breaking their masts, then dodging them from raising it or repairing, you will have unlimited power that will make Thanos look like yesterday's jam. And just like before, I will be uploading a detailed guide on how to ruin someone's life with a chain shot. Last but not least, if you like bananas, head to the Pirate Emporium and get your exclusive collection of banana-themed weapons and tools. Why? I have no idea, but it's something we needed. If you need help completing these commendations, please join my Discord in the link below, where we have 2000 sailors roaming the seas. You can look for your crew and embark on a journey with like-minded pirates. If you have any questions, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch, and I'm ready to answer your questions on stream. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy sailing!
That guy is good. And aiming. Can you harpoon me, please? So I can anchor you. Why don't you die? Why well, you're not dying? Yes! Haha! <laughs> Got him! Two shots! 